Because a part of it is that the closer you get to the light, the more animated things get. The closer you're to the light, the stronger is your shadow. So as you're working on yourself in this evolving, and then as you're evolving and you're becoming so-called more spiritual, you also, your shadows are getting stronger too. So I share this with you so you don't beat yourself up that, oh, I do so much work, I'm so spiritual, I'm so close, but then how come my addictions are getting stronger or they're appearing or they just come and grab me? It's because you're getting closer to the light. So things are becoming more obvious. When you're not so close to the light and you're numb, you're not sensing things. You're numb, you're not feeling things. But the more expanded you get, the closer you get, you feel a lot more. You become more aware. It's like, pay attention. A lot of us, like, like if I go to a restaurant and it's, there's really loud music, sometimes I can handle it. But a lot of times when I'm really in this place within myself, I can't deal with loud music. I want silence. I want to go somewhere peaceful and quiet so I can digest my food. If there's this really loud boom, boom, boom music or some pop music from Madonna or Britney Spears or something that its frequency is not resonating, resonating with me. It's poppy. I can't eat food there. It just bothers me. Or there's loud people or there's a lot of noise. So pay attention to yourself. See how much more sensitive you've become as you've been progressing. You can call it as you're getting older or you can just say as you're going forward. So you're becoming more sensitive. Sensitivity comes, more awareness comes. These are all improvements. These are all indications that you're getting closer to the light. You're becoming more truthful with yourself. You are more paying attention to your spiritual needs. Of course, it can go to the extreme as well. And I see that, you know, that it gets too much. Like there are some people, I can't hang out with them. They bug, they bug me. They really annoy me because they're too spiritual. So it can become an ego-driven thing too. But you just examine yourself and see where you're at. It's very simple. You know where you're at. But again, these spiritual challenges, they're part of the process, they happen. And the most common one that I hear from a lot of people that they feel stuck in their path, their spirituality, and or they hate what they're doing and they like to do kind of a work, being a healer, being a channeler, being a light worker. They like to make their money from that, but they're making their money from something else. But that's also an idea. You don't want to be stuck there either. It's okay. Make your money however you can make your money. And then use your money to do your spiritual work. Don't trip over it. That because you're not making your money from spiritual work, that's bad and you're lost. 
No, that's how existence created a situation for you to make your money in this way. And find the spirit in that too. What makes you think working as an insurance agent or in an insurance company, that's not spiritual. What makes you think that? That to be spiritual and making money from that, you, you have to do light working ways that you're serving the light. No, it doesn't matter because when you're doing kind of healing work or being a psychic, you're still thinking about making money. You're, you're doing some kind of work as a channeler, as a teacher, as a spiritual teacher, whatever it is. Believe me, you think about making money just as if you're working in an insurance industry. None of them is more holy than the other. I don't see one superior to the other. So don't get trapped into this thing. That could be a trap too. If existence wants to take you into this path of making your money from spiritual work or selling supplements or products that are spiritual, existence will take you in that direction. It will happen for you. Whether you try or you don't try, life will take you in that direction. I know more spiritual people making their money from that are 100 times more money oriented than average guy who is doing real estate or, or they're in corporate world. Yeah, the guy in the corporate world or people in the mainstream, they don't speak our language. I get it. Their focus is the world, the physical world. I get it. I understand that. But there's no glory in doing spiritual work or selling products or, or things like that, that you're always trying to pull up with some kind of gig or trip or whatever to sell your products to other people. That's the same. I don't see a difference. Your goal is to make money. You understand? Do you, do you see what I'm talking about? Are you with me? Are you here? Yes? No? So these are challenges of the spiritual seekers. And I'm just being very honest with you. I'm being very straightforward. I'm not pa painting a rosy picture for you. And I'm not being very straightforward is my job is not anything more special or better than someone else's job. I don't even see it. Oh, wow, Zarathustra, you're serving the world and you are better. There's no such a thing as being better of someone else. It's just who you are. What kind of character you demonstrate and whether you walk your talk and your actions are matching your words. But this is not better than what you do. I don't see it better or worse. It's just this is the way the direction of life has brought me to do. But you have the same challenges as everybody else. You still have all the challenges that everyone else in this planet has financial challenge.